Hello there, my name is Jacob and welcome to Bermondsey Daily Message. Beautiful words from the beautiful book. Today's message is for anyone who's feeling completely rushed off their feet. Uh, Some people haven't had too much to do during lockdown and that can kind of cause its own problems and difficulties but uh, I know there are a lot of people who have had far more to do than they can cope with, been busier uh, than they've ever been uh, in their lives and think about being a Christian. Um, When you want to serve God well and work hard for him, you want to do a good job at work, Uh, you want to be a good parent to the children, you want to make sure you do everything to the best of your abilities, Um, it can be actually exhausting Uh, and you don't really feel like uh, you're allowed to stop because uh, it's not all about you, it's not about getting what you want and so you, you keep going and you keep going but but it can, it can make you frustrated, it can make you uh, a bit depressed. You wonder why being a Christian is just so grueling at times. Uh, you wish you could sort of give yourself a break. Well, if that's you, I, I want to encourage you by reminding you that the Jesus you serve is the Good Shepherd. And actually I need this reminder too. The Jesus we serve, our King, is the Good Shepherd. You probably know Psalm 23 quite well. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Well, I want to take us to a little passage from Mark's Gospel today where we see Jesus doing exactly that for his disciples. We're going to be looking at Mark chapter 6. Uh, And it's the beginning of the passage about the feeding of the 5,000. And um, this this passage from Mark's Gospel starts with the disciples coming back to Jesus after they've been out on a kind of preaching tour. He sent them out on their own to go and preach to the surrounding towns and villages. Uh, They've been really busy. They've been working hard. They've faced rejection. Uh, It's been a tough time. And they come back to Jesus and they tell him everything that's been going on. And then let me read to you what Jesus does. This is Mark chapter 6, verse 30. It says, The apostles gathered round Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. Jesus doesn't want us to exhaust ourselves or to burn out. We have lots of responsibilities. There's certain things we can't avoid doing. Um, But give yourself permission, permission from Jesus to uh, even just get half an hour to yourself. Uh, Maybe that sounds impossible to you, but do everything you can to get that time. You have his permission and it's necessary. These were the apostles. Jesus didn't say, well, get used to it. That's what it's going to be like from now on. Busy, busy, busy. Now he knew they needed to be refreshed. And he took them away to spend time with him. And that's what we all need. It's what I need. Time away from it all, where it's just us and Jesus. And we can let him minister to us. Now I've said this is uh, a passage which shows Jesus is the good shepherd. And... Um, It's because the place Jesus takes them is a place beside quiet waters uh, where they can lie down in green pastures. But when the boat landed, uh, the place was crowded. People had guessed where he was going and they'd all made a special effort to get there ahead of him so they could be there to hear him teach. Jesus had wanted quiet time for his disciples, but he wasn't only the shepherd of the disciples, he was the shepherd of all God's people. And so it says, when Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. 
So he began teaching them many things. So he looked at them and he knew that the people of Israel in that day, they lacked the leaders they needed. They were like sheep who didn't have a shepherd. And so Jesus chose to be a shepherd for them in that moment because that's who he was, their king and their shepherd. And he did it by teaching them. Hearing Jesus' words is to the Christian what it means for a, a sheep to get good grass, to be refreshed. So Jesus taught the crowds, he taught the disciples, his word became their food. Where were they? Beside the quiet waters. And when he wanted to teach, he made everyone sit down. And where did they sit? Well, by the time it gets to the meal, when he feeds the 5,000, Mark says, then Jesus told them to make all the people sit down in groups on the green grass. It's just a little detail. Uh, we don't usually get told the colour of things in the Gospels, but the grass was green. They were beside the water. They were sat down and Jesus was going to prepare a meal for them, teach them, be their shepherd in the quiet of the breeze beside the Sea of Galilee. Do you see how Jesus is that shepherd who leads us beside quiet waters, makes us lie down in green pastures, who refreshes our soul, who prepares a meal for us? That's who you serve. He cares about your soul, he cares about refreshing you. He does not want you to be worn out, exhausted and to give up. He wants you to keep going. Uh, so please, let me encourage you, urge you even, to get a little bit of time perhaps to go to one of the parks where it's more quiet, where you can see the water and the wildlife and the trees, somewhere green, and spend the time with Jesus. Walk quietly, observe all the wonderful things he's made. Remind yourself of the reasons why you know that he loves you. Ask him to lead you, to go before you, to walk beside you, to follow along behind you, protecting you all the way like a shepherd. And then, even when we get to the times in life when it feels like we're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, we won't fear evil, because even then we will know that our good shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ, is with us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our Lord Jesus, who cares for our souls. Please refresh us, especially those of us who've been very busy. Please restore our souls. Take us out into the world you've made. Show us its beauty and feed us on your word. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for this Bermondsey Daily Message. Uh, the good news is in two days' time, on Sunday the 7th of March, the church doors at St. James and St. Anne's will be open again. Uh, we're opening up. Uh, our services are back on. Bring a face mask. Uh, it would be great to see you there uh, if it's safe for you to come. Goodbye.